Hey there guys, it's going? This is Bex over here, and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial, and today we're going to be going over screen wrapping, and uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the concept of screen wrapping, it's kind of similar to the old style of Mario games, as well as the kind of old style uh, arcade Pac-Man games and whatnot, and basically, when you exit one portion of the room, like say the right side here, we enter right through the left side again, and uh, kind of the exact position that we normally would if it were to kind of mirror that section. And uh, the same works for the top and bottom as well, and even diagonal. So let's go ahead and check that out. It's a pretty neat little thing, and uh, it's really simple to do as well. So let's just go ahead and waste no time and get right into it. Alright, so we're here in the Game Maker screen here, and pretty much all I did for the sprite of the player, just to make sure that you can guys or you guys can visualize, you know, actually what's going on here, is uh, I just created a simple 32 by 32 black square. So, you know, nothing too fancy going on there, nothing you need to do. It can be whatever dimensions or color, you know, whatever the heck you really want it to be. Um, then I went ahead and just created a simple object out of that, named it OBJ underscore player. The name doesn't matter, you know, just something to kind of keep track of things by. And uh, basically these are just these simple directions or the movement, nothing too fancy, and and, uh, you know, I would really not recommend these if you're actually trying to make a game and base these off of this. Uh, this is strictly for tutorial purposes only. These controls are, you know, not ideal for an actual game. But, you know, what can you do? It's just a simple tutorial. You know, you don't want to go all out. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, go to the outside room. Now, what you want to go ahead and do here, just in case you guys are unfamiliar, you want to go add event, other, and outside room. That's where that event is. And you want to go ahead and stick in the move tab. That's where you should be uh, by default. And go ahead down here to where it says wrap screen and click and drag that over. And by default, um, the option should be on horizontal, which is basically just saying that um, if our player goes outside of either the left side or the right side of the room, it will just kind of mirror it, um, you know, depending what side you went out. However, what we want to do in this case is we want to go from all sides, both the horizontal and the vertical, so the top and bottom and diagonal. So what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, just click on the direction here and choose in both directions. And this will ensure that if our player goes outside the up or down or left or right side of our room, uh, we automatically, you know, just kind of uh, appear, you know, which, depending on which side that we chose. So there we go. And that is as simple as it seems, guys, or it seems, that is how to do it. So, not too complicated at all, pretty easy, and uh, that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, all that stuff, you know, whatever you want to do. And uh, hopefully this helped you guys out, I know it helped me when I figured it out. And until uh, next time, guys, until next video, this has been Rex Furry, and uh, see you then.